The future of space cargo transportation is upon us. Sierra's Space Dream Chaser spaceplane, Tenacity, has just achieved a monumental milestone that brings it one giant leap closer to its maiden voyage. What's up, spacers? This is your specialist, the Space Technician. In this video, we'll explore the achievement that has the entire space industry buzzing with excitement. Today, we're talking about the Dream Chaser's first phase of environmental testing. Also, the news of a second Dream Chaser in the works, and what it means for the future of orbital spaceflight. Remember, strapping in is optional, but recommended. Dream Chaser Tenacity, this reusable lifting body spacecraft has been years in the making, and it's finally completed its first phase of environmental testing at NASA's Neil Armstrong Test Facility in Ohio. Can you believe it? We're so close to seeing this beauty soar through the skies and deliver cargo to the International Space Station. Now, let's get technical for a moment. Over the past month, Tenacity and its trusty sidekick, the Shooting Star Cargo Module, underwent an intense series of evaluations at the Mechanical Vibration Facility, MVF. This state-of-the-art facility houses the world's most powerful spacecraft shaker table, capable of generating the extreme vibrations experienced during launch. The Dream Chaser and Shooting Star were stacked together in their launch configuration and secured to the shaker table. The table then simulated the powerful vibrations of a rocket launch, with frequencies ranging from 5 to 200 hertz and accelerations up to 1.25 times the force of gravity. This rigorous testing ensures that every component, from the spacecraft's structure to its delicate electronics, can withstand the immense stresses of liftoff and ascent. But the testing didn't stop there. The Dream Chaser also underwent sine vibration testing, which evaluates the vehicle's response to sinusoidal vibrations in all three axes – X, forward and back, Y, side to side, and Z, up and down. This test helps identify any resonant frequencies that could cause damage to the spacecraft during flight. Next up, the separation shock test, a critical evaluation that simulates the moment when the Dream Chaser detaches from the Shooting Star cargo module in orbit. This test ensures that the separation mechanisms function flawlessly and that both vehicles can withstand the sudden shock of separation without sustaining damage. Finally, the Dream Chaser's wings were put to the test. These unique folding wings are essential for the spacecraft's controlled atmospheric descent and landing. During testing, the wings were deployed and retracted multiple times to verify their structural integrity and smooth operation. Now let's talk about the piece de resistance. Joint test number three. This critical phase was a comprehensive dress rehearsal for the Dream Chaser's post-launch operations. The test began with the simulated separation of the Dream Chaser from the rocket's protective fairing. Next, the spacecraft's folded wings were commanded to deploy, a process that involves precision timing and careful coordination of the vehicle's hydraulic systems. With its wings fully extended, the Dream Chaser then demonstrated its ability to fly autonomously, using advanced navigation and control algorithms to maneuver itself towards the International Space Station. Throughout this sequence, the test focused on the critical software interface between the Dream Chaser and the ISS. This interface, known as the Proximity Operation System (PROX), allows the Dream Chaser to communicate with the station, exchanging vital data such as relative position, velocity, and attitude. The proxy system also enables the Dream Chaser to receive commands from the ISS crew, such as approval to approach and dock with the station. Joint test number three rigorously evaluated the PROX system, ensuring seamless communication and coordination between the Dream Chaser and the ISS. With these critical tests successfully completed, the Dream Chaser is one step closer to its maiden voyage and the beginning of a new era in orbital spaceflight. The dedication and expertise of the Sierra Space Team, combined with the cutting-edge technology of the Dream Chaser, are paving the way for more efficient, reliable, and cost-effective access to space. Now, here's where things get really exciting. Sierra Space isn't content with just one Dream Chaser. They're already hard at work on a second space plane named Reverence. 
But why stop at two? The company's long-term vision is to build an entire fleet of these incredible machines, each one pushing the boundaries of what's possible in the orbital spaceflight. By constructing multiple Dream Chasers, Sierra Space will be able to significantly increase their launch frequency and flexibility. This is a game-changer in the world of space cargo transportation, as it allows for more efficient delivery of critical supplies, scientific experiments, and technology to the International Space Station and future orbital destinations. Having a fleet of Dream Chasers also opens up exciting opportunities for upgrades and enhancements. As the company gains experience with each successive space plane, they can incorporate lessons learned and new technologies into the design and construction process. This iterative approach ensures that each new Dream Chaser is more advanced, reliable, and capable than its predecessor. Moreover, a fleet of space planes provides a crucial backup capability. In the event that one Dream Chaser is undergoing maintenance or upgrades, another can be ready to step in and take its place. This redundancy is essential in the high-stakes world of orbital spaceflight, where delays or setbacks can have significant consequences for scientific research, crew safety, and mission success. So, what goes into building a fleet of Dream Chasers? It all starts with the advanced composite materials used in the space plane's construction. The primary structure of the Dream Chaser is made from a lightweight yet incredibly strong combination of carbon fiber and graphite epoxy. These materials provide exceptional thermal and mechanical properties, allowing the vehicle to withstand the extreme temperatures and stresses of atmospheric re-entry. Each Dream Chaser is equipped with a suite of state-of-the-art avionics and control systems. These include advanced flight computers, inertial measurement units, and GPS receivers that enable precise navigation and autonomous operation. The space planes also feature a sophisticated network of sensors and telemetry systems that continuously monitor the health and performance of all onboard systems. To support a growing fleet of Dream Chasers, Sierra Space is investing in cutting-edge manufacturing and assembly facilities. These include clean rooms, specialized tooling, and automated production lines that streamline the construction process and ensure consistent quality across multiple vehicles. The company is also expanding its team of skilled engineers, technicians, and support staff to keep pace with the incredible demand for Dream Chaser missions. Building a spacecraft like the Dream Chaser is no easy feat. It took Sierra Space nearly eight years to develop tenacity, but they've learned so much along the way. This knowledge will help them construct future Dream Chasers faster. So we can expect to see more of these incredible vehicles in the years to come. Well, Spacers, there you have it. The Dream Chaser is one step closer to making its debut flight and revolutionizing cargo transportation to the ISS. Sierra Space has shown incredible dedication and innovation in bringing this project to life. And I can't wait to see what the future holds for this amazing spacecraft. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for more awesome space content. This is the Space Technician, signing off for now. And I'll see you Space Cowboys in the next one.